The Korean Peninsula is divided into two separate nations, North and South Korea, with the 38th parallel serving as the boundary between them. In contrast, there is no demarcation line between mainland and Taiwan. Instead, control is asserted by military presence in specific areas. In the modern time, China is one country, two governments, often referred to as the cross-strait status quo. There is one country with two independent governments representing different regions. However, the Korean Peninsula has two distinct countries, both recognized as South Korea and North Korea. Why is there this difference? In the modern context, South Korea and North Korea exist as two separate countries due to the aftermath of World War II. Following the war, Korea was liberated from Japanese rule and, under the occupation of the United States and the Soviet Union, South Korea and North Korea were established. Despite the lack of mutual recognition, an agreement designating the 38th parallel as the boundary led to the division of the Korean Peninsula into two distinct nations. On the other hand, China's situation as one country, two governments, emerged from the internal conflict of the Second Sino-Japanese War. Originally, the Republic of China controlled the entire Chinese mainland, excluding Mongolia. However, after World War II, the civil war between the Communist Party and the Nationalist Party escalated, with the Communist forces gradually gaining control. The flames of the civil war spread from the Manchuria to the entire country. By March 1949, only a few major cities north of the Yangtze River remained under the control of the Republic of China, and the rest became territories of the Chinese Communist Party. At this time, the CCP had not yet established its government. The Republic of China's president, Li Zongren, hoped to establish a boundary along the Yangtze River, dividing China into the north and south. However, this agreement was not implemented, and the CCP crossed the Yangtze River in April. By October 1, 1949, the Communists established the People's Republic of China in Beijing. The government of the Republic of China then relocated from Chengdu to Taipei on December 7. By 1950, almost the entire mainland China had come under communist rule. It was not until the 1960s that the influence of the Republic of China on the mainland and its border areas completely disappeared. From this historical context, it can be observed that the dynamics between mainland China and Taiwan are entirely different from the division of the Korean Peninsula. The Korean Peninsula is divided into two separate nations, North and South Korea, with the 38th parallel serving as the boundary between them. In contrast, there is no demarcation line between mainland and Taiwan. Instead, control is asserted by military presence in specific areas. The territorial boundaries controlled by both sides lack legal basis or formal agreements. Only the government of the Republic of China has unilaterally amended its constitution to distinguish between the mainland region and the Taiwan region within the Republic of China. The actions taken by the military on both sides, from a legal standpoint, are not classified as aggression. The ability to maintain the current territorial arrangement between the two sides is entirely dependent on political influence and international forces. Although they bear different national names and flags, there is no formal agreement of separation. The lack of a formal agreement has resulted in a continued state of hostilities between the two sides. Looking ahead, there are three potential options for the future of cross-strait relations in China. Maintaining the status quo, achieving reunification, or formally splitting into two separate countries. The direction these relations will take in the future remains uncertain. The concept of one China may seem less significant, but it is crucial to diplomatic relations and international standing. While the Republic of China is considered a historical term on the mainland, representing a bygone era, it is very much a present reality in Taiwan. Therefore, the title of the Republic of China poses a challenge to the People's Republic of China, serving as a perceived threat to their established orthodoxy. It has the potential to intimidate the legitimacy of their regime. Without understanding the underlying reasons, it becomes challenging to comprehend the current challenges faced by the Republic of China or Taiwan on the international stage. That's it for the program. For those who enjoy our channel, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.
。如果你也想成为下一位爆红创作者，请打开下方资讯栏链接，一起来投稿吧。